Hey guys, Dennis from deviceplanet.com here and today we're going to be making a full blog design in Adobe Photoshop CS6. Um, so go ahead and open Photoshop and uh, let's go ahead and make a new document here. And let's set it, let's, we're going to go ahead and make it for um, 1024 resolution. So just set your width to that, um, height at 1000, 72 resolution, RGB and 16 bit. Okay. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and grab a Galaxy image, um, either off Google or DeviantArt, wherever you can find. Um, so let's go ahead and move that gal uh, Galaxy image to a new layer. Now go back to your original document and make a selection across the whole top. We're going to go ahead and do it about that, that width and height. Okay. And now oh, let's go ahead and find a good spot um, in your image. Okay, there we go. So just copy that, close out your galaxy, and control V. Okay, and for some reason we're a little bit smaller here. So let's just go ahead and enlarge that. Um, control T and just enlarge it. And you can hold shift actually to keep it proportionate. Um, and let's actually flip that to 180. Okay. Now we want to make a new layer and press P to grab the pen tool. Okay. Now just make a selection just where your galaxy cuts off. And we're going to do it, let me see actually, about, about half the width of the whole page. And okay, make your selection at an angle like that and then just go ahead and bring that to the end. Now you want to make sure it's even as you can see here the lines get split. Um, there we go so we're even. Now actually I want to give it a little bit more of an angle. Actually you know what there we go give it that good angle okay and yeah that's pretty good and just go ahead and make your selection across the whole image um, actually let's make it perfect and go ahead and actually make it at the end of the canvas oh. there we go there we go and there we go now right click make selection zero feather radius and just fill that with a white color oh and actually I think it looks no actually we're looking even and we just have a little bit of um, or no that's actually just my monitor okay so zoom back out Okay. Now let's actually go ahead and shift our selection to the left a little bit. Yeah, actually I'm going to make the um the navigational bar a little bit longer. So just grab the rectangular marquee tool and um try to get your selection in there perfectly and make a new layer and fill that selection with a white color control E to merge okay now we have our general base as you can see now let's go ahead and add a drop shadow to that and actually we should not be getting that drop shadow for some reason let me see here yeah, for some reason that's not working out. Actually, oh, yeah, I remember why. Okay, so we want to, instead of just filling that selection like that, oh, select transform, oops, select transform selection and just make it across the whole page. And now fill it with that white, control E, 
Okay, now add our drop shadow. Actually, let's move up a little bit. Drop shadow. Make sure it's set to black. Okay. And yeah, that's, that looks pretty good. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add our navigation text. And we'll just do a gray color. Here, let me, uh, give me one moment. And just grab a uh, color here. Okay. And you can just go ahead and use the same color codes if you want. Oh, actually, let's make that a little bit darker. A little bit darker. Okay. So, yeah, 14, we're good. Okay, now, add, try to keep uh, the spaces between your, um, your navigational links um, the same. So what I do is I just use the space bar and then I copy the spaces. Um, let's do about us. Oops. Portfolio services. Uh, the team. And let's do blog and contact. Okay. Let's actually <clears throat> add an extra space um, between those. Okay. And there we go. Okay, now what we want to do is I actually have a, um, in, in a, um, a Photoshop extension that will help me keep my guides even. You can actually just refer to the description in this video to download it. Um, I actually have another video on it, but what, what this will do is actually create guides that are absolutely 100% equal on all sides. That's actually 20 pixels um, on all sides. So what we're going to do now is just create our uh, button overlay. So just make your selection about the same size as the navigational bar. Um, and I'm, I'm going to put a guide there to help me do that. Okay. Okay, now go to select, transform selection, make your selection a little bit higher um, than the navigational bar. Now make sure you have a new layer. Okay, now fill that layer with a bright color. Um, we're just going to use this kind of pinkish reddish color. Okay, now add a gradient overlay to that. Set it to overlay and just drop the opacity okay now you want to make sure your navigational text um, on the overlay is white okay so just duplicate that text layer um, move the one below it down and to the right one pixel and then um, do a color overlay of black on there okay now hide the top layer and delete all the text. Just leave a home um, text layer. Okay, and now just go back to that layer and drop the opacity. Okay. Now we're going to give it um, the overlay button kind of like a 3D look. So just go click on that um, layer, then just zoom in and make a new layer. Grab your pen tool. Okay. And let's see if we get a good effect here. Okay, make selection, right click, make selection. Okay, and let's try a darker color. Actually, move it below. Okay, yeah. Okay, now we're getting kind of like a 3D effect. Um, actually, what I want to do is shift it to the right. 
I don't want it aligned like that perfectly. Okay. And that's looking pretty good. Um, so go ahead and make a new layer. We're actually going to do the logo. Um, so let's do alien space. Okay, and set the logo to white. Now, of course, you want to increase the size. Um, in this case, I think it'll actually look pretty good um, right there. Go ahead and set that to overlay. See if you get a uh, a good effect if you, with your galaxy. If you don't, just use. Just go ahead and use either a whitish color. Maybe pink might work. Um, in this case, I'm going to use the um, overlay. Now, let's add a tagline. So, okay. Just some, um, just some simple, just a simple tagline. And uh, this text uh, tool right here, the uh, the settings button, you can actually control all text settings um, with that button. And uh, oh, actually, let's set it to okay. That's too much. So let's do a hundred. Okay, what about ninety-five? Okay, and we can drop the opacity on that, or even um, even set that to overlay as well. Okay, and what we can do is actually increase the size. Just kind of play around um, with your settings. Don't try to get the same effect that I have necessarily. Actually. It's pretty good like that, and then we'll do um, regular. No, we'll do bold, and then back to the text settings. We'll do it full caps, and we're gonna do that at normal, and we're gonna just try to take out the spaces. See what we can do. No, I don't like that. So just go back to the text settings and reduce the spacing. What about 25? 5? Wow. Okay, what about 12? And then at 50. Control T, increase the size a little bit. Okay, and I like the way that looks. Let's maybe actually drop it down right there. Okay. Okay. And we're looking pretty good so far. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end part one of this tutorial and just go on to part two. And um, we'll go ahead and continue where we left off. And um, check out Device Planet from my other tutorials and subscribe as well. Okay.